In this video, we'll learn the basic workflow of 3Shape Cambridge software. Every project in Cambridge consists of four phases. Create new platform job, add input, produce, and approve. Firstly, you need to click the New Platform button. This will create a new empty platform job, on which you can add various items to be printed. A pop-up will appear where you are able to specify a 3D printer, the material, and the color for this job. Click Add. You can import your items directly from 3Shape Dental Manager. In order to do that, click the Dental Manager tab. Select an item and click the button called To Job. You will notice that the chosen item disappears from the list, but appears below as part of the job. After the software makes the necessary calculations, you'll be able to see both added items nested in the job. Another way to import items is via a link to the folder on your PC. Go to the Folder tab. Now click Browse in order to search for the specific folder. Click OK to confirm. You will notice the folder path above the list with its content. The process of importing items is the same. Select an item and click to job. Please note that the software enables import of the STL, DCM and HPS file formats. Once the calculations are done, click the Produce button in the bottom right corner. Output files will be created in the specified folder. When the prepared print job is produced, you can verify the finished result. If one or more items did not live up to the expected quality, then they can be marked with the Disapprove button below. Click OK to finish. The disapproved items will always appear under the Pending tab and can be reproduced in a following print job. Now create a new platform job and click the Pending tab to see the list. Import an item from the file of your choice. It is worth remembering that you can always import items from the previously created jobs. Go to the Log panel, select an item, and click to Job. This will add it to the job. Cambridge software enables you to edit items on the job. It can be done using the Placement and Inspect buttons. Now, when you are satisfied with item positioning and supports, click Produce. Please note that the file transfer between Cambridge and your 3D printer depends on the specific integration. For example, it can be transferred automatically on the local network, sent via third-party applications, or can be stored on an external USB drive. In this video, you've learned the basics of Cambridge software. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.